here with Sid, who is Walk for Justice. Um, as you know, Sid set off from Glasgow, um, he's heading down to London and then off to the European courts. Now, um, the day before yesterday, we were in Manchester and uh, we took a video outside Manchester City and Manchester United. And today we are now in Liverpool and we are outside Goodison uh, Park, which is Everton. And again, there's another theme here. Uh, Manchester United, sorry, Manchester City was about champions together. Manchester United was about dreams. Now today, Everton is about the people's club. A child is being taken every 20 minutes. Bang, child gone, child gone, child gone. Parents are pushed into the courts, into the family courts, which is a closed court. Now what goes on in that room stays in that room. Now if that was protecting children, thumbs up. However, what's going on in that room is that judges are rubber stamping what social services say. What goes on in that courtroom is not about criminal acts. There's nearly 100,000 children in foster care at the moment. So think of this, why is there not 200,000 parents in prison? If a parent has caused significant harm to a child that is a crime so therefore the parents should be facing criminal charges of abuse to that child and then there are obviously protection laws to come on to that child however these children are in foster care while parents like me are walking the streets the question is if my child has been taken from me this is one of the reasons that Sid's walking I have four children I have a 17 year old, no I don't, the time's going fast. I have an 18 year old and a 15 year old. This is my two children. Aaron is now five and Faith is now four. They were taken from me on the 13th of December 2012 when they were um, two and three. Now they've been placed for adoption. Now, they're not yet with the adoption of people, but once you come out of this court process, there's no legal aid and parents are out on their own. So this is why Goodison Town represents the People's Club. And this is about all of the parents, and this is why Sid is walking. So all of the parents who have been affected, and we are all in the same boat, can all come together to really, really shout out to let the people know that this is really going on. Scott will be down in London on the 16th of, uh, 16th of July, 19th of July, 19th of July. We are asking every single parent who is gagged, every single parent who's had a child taken from them, grandparents, uncles, aunties, to all be down in London to show the united front of the amount of people that this is happening to. The People's Assembly met uh, last Saturday, 5,000 people in London, but it has not been covered in the press. The injustices that are going on, parents and the media are gagged. Children who are abused in care homes are gagged. They cannot tell anybody an injustice is not working. So Sid, he is the people's voice. He is the person who is carrying our message. He is the person who's walked from Glasgow now we're in Liverpool now and tonight at half past ten Sid will be on the ferry and going over to Belfast and we need to basically connect to as many people as possible so Sid can tell your story so when he gets down to London you can come down put your name down ready for a class action and for this to be carried across to the European courts we are aware that we are up against corruption we are aware that we are up against crime and we are aware that we are up against the law but this is not a fight this is about a resolution so we can bring our children home this is about being able to call for a public intervention into what is currently going on because in the time that i've been taken another child another child has happened to me and it can happen to you and it is happening to thousands of families not just in the UK but this is a worldwide problem and that takes it from the thousands to the hundred thousands 
to the millions and billions, and we have no idea how great to the scale this injustice is, which is why we're connecting to all of the football clubs, all of the places in the major cities, so we can hit out to a wider network, so Sid can get his message out of what he's gonna take into the European Parliament, we can get ours out, and we can abolish these forced adoptions. Children are currently being adopted now who have got families who are saying stop. We support children who need a home, the orphans, those that have no family, those who are being abused. But we do not support those who have families, who have homes, who are screaming to be heard, who are trying to save their children. But we are just a small force who are growing and growing at you know, a gigantic speed. But that's because Sid is on the streets, he is walking, he's sleeping through the night, so we can connect with as many of you as possible. We need the good social workers to come forward. We need the good police to come forward. We need to weed out those that are holding this back, the gatekeepers, and we need to say no more. Stop forced adoption. Stop the gags. Stop the immunity to the paedophiles. This needs an inspection. It is out of control. Sid is 73. I'm 36. I only know about what's going on because it affects me. And I now give a damn about how it affects other people because no person should go through what my children and my family are currently going through. I've been seeing this for 73 years. So for the people, Goodison, the People's Club, we need to stop these forced adoptions. We need to call an investigation. The adoption drive is currently going on on leaps and bounds. They've got 50 million. Me and Sid have got a couple of coins in our pocket and we need all of the parents to club together so we can unite as one united front so by the time we get down to Liverpool, back to London, we are all united for our children. So Sid, if you can just tell the, the, the people why people have got to come together. Well, more for justice. It's not about me, it's not about any leaders. It's justice for everyone that's been affected. Uh, it's disabled people are losing benefits, committing suicide, yet they fake their instalments and their insurance stamps. There's a lot of unfairness, a lot of human rights violations in this country. Children's human rights, families' human rights have been violated, and there's 100,000 children every year go missing from home and care homes, sleeping rough on the streets. There's no safe home in Britain for children under the age of 16. It's time they had one. And this walk is to try and get a safe house as well. It's to give a voice for all those kids that are screaming to be heard. It's for you, it's for your families, it's for everyone, it's for all groups to come together. Anyone that's suffered injustice, this is a walk for justice. It's not about me, we don't want leaders, we just want voices that care about other people. And we hope that all football supporters from all clubs will join uh, in, and join us. And anyone that's younger, fitter, stronger, uh, better than me, just do the same sort of thing. Take on extreme challenges, raise publicity to help get the voice for all these kids that can't speak out for themselves. We want to give them a voice. I hope that you will help to give us that voice. Thank you. When a child is taken into care, it should be the best place for them but it's going wrong and children are being abused in the care system and they're being gagged. There is some great foster carers out there, there really is, but people only know what's going on on the paperwork and I can guarantee you that paperwork is no representation of our, our families. I can show you the perjury and the lies and the misunderstandings that go on that formalise a picture that doesn't represent that what that child's story would be. And these children are growing up to be told that they're abused when they're not. And there is loving parents and grandparents out here who just want their children and families home. And the only way that we can do this is for everybody to club together. And then we can do this as a united front. We can take that class action in and we can do that risk. But we cannot do it as individuals standing alone. We can only do this as a united front. So it's time to, as you know, Goodison Park says, Everton, we've got to club together.